67 here in New York. I'm Anne Marie Green. I'm Vladimir Dutit. Here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. Survivors emerge from a steel mill in Mariupol. We'll have the very latest from the besieged city and tell you about Nancy Pelosi's visit to Kiev. A suspected killer on the run may have been helped by a missing prison official. Our Janet Shamlian will be here with the details on a bizarre story out of Alabama. And COVID cases are ticking upwards amid concerns around new subvariants of Omicron. Dr. Celine Gounder will be here with what you need to know. We need some clarification. There's so There's much information out there. A lot of stuff going there. on, yeah. Uh, plus, in the battle for Ukraine, Russian forces are meeting fierce resistance as they try to advance in the south and in the east. We will discuss why the offensive is moving much slower than expected and look at the state of Putin's forces. And after a two-year hiatus due to the pandemic, this weekend, the White House Correspondents' Center returned in full force. The toast to the presidency and the free press packed a Washington ballroom despite some concerns about COVID safety precautions. Uh, they were taken, <laughs> and the stars took to the red carpet. Trevor, the really good news is now you get to roast the president of the United States. And unlike in Moscow, you won't go to jail. I stood here tonight and I made fun of the President of the United States, and I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine, right? <laughs> like, do you, like, do you really understand what a blessing it is? And that wasn't actually some of the funniest stuff. There were much funnier jokes. Oh, yeah, he uh, was very good. We saw Gail King on the red carpet. I know you were there yes, as well. So it, you can give us the inside It angle. was good. It was fun. You know, look, uh, a, a lot of people, uh, including my own colleagues, we were all thinking about the fact that, you know, there's been rising infection rates of COVID. I know. But they took precautions. We had to be tested the day of the event. Uh, I was tested on Friday. I was tested on Saturday. I tested again yesterday. I tested again this morning, all yeah. negative. Um, but it was great just to be, you know, Emery, it's for a good cause. They raised $130,000, um, and it's, it's for, uh, to eliminate the freedom of the press. But it was just nice to see our colleagues that we haven't seen for a long time mm -hmm. and our peers at mm -hmm. other news networks and newspapers uh, just to be able to hang out together and celebrate the First Amendment. It was really, really cool. And of course, yeah, there's some celebrities there. I wasn't going to be that guy who took a picture of, you know, Pete and Kim coming in. <laughs> but when they came in, I was just like, I gotta. Like, and, you, and then you became that guy? Yeah, I became that guy. And I actually, in my Instagram feed, I said, I'm sorry. I, you know, had to do it. Had to do it. I, I, I hear apparently other people took pictures too. Yes. There might be plenty of pictures out <laughs> there. There are indeed. So we're going <laughs> to dig into that a little later. Uh, but let's get to our top story. Speaker Pelosi and other members of Congress are visiting Poland today after meeting with Ukraine's president this weekend. And while those U.S. lawmakers were showing their support, survivors started to escape from the steel plant in Mariupol where they had been trapped. Charlie Daggett reports from Bakhmut, Ukraine. 